we got some news and rumors to get into on today's episode of the Washington Commanders Report. I am Harrison Graham filling in for Jack Sperry, who's a little under the weather. And if you want your normal host, Jack Sperry, to feel better, show the man some love. Like this video, hit that like button. I would love to set a likes record for Sperry. That would make his day. So show the love, hit that like button. All right, let's kick off today's show with a Justin Fields trade rumor as a new report has come in today that the Bears could trade Fields during the NFL Combine next week. Here was Albert Breer on ESPN 1000 in Chicago saying that I think the bones of the trade will be set next week. Talking about at the Combine, there's some urgency on the Bears' part to get something done. It certainly sounds like a trade is coming soon from Chicago's standpoint. It's been trending this way for a while that they're likely going to take a quarterback number one overall in trade Justin Fields. I know Sperry's talked about Fields a couple of times here on this show, uh, and I thought with the new report today would be a good time to talk about it again. Obviously, Justin Fields has had an up and down three seasons in Chicago. He has gotten a little bit better each year uh, as a passer. Certainly hasn't taken that mega jump yet. Could he be better off with a um, you know commander's offense that has multiple good receivers? Uh, still needs to improve that offensive line but I do think there is a scenario uh, for Washington where they would uh, consider this outcome because there's a lot of thought out there that well okay Washington would love to have Caleb Williams right I mean that's my top QB prospect but I think there's a good chance the Bears are going to take him and what if Washington doesn't view Drake May or Jaden Daniels worthy of the number two pick what if they're just like oh, we love Caleb but we don't love these other guys well, something to consider from Washington's standpoint is maybe if they don't get Caleb, assuming he does go number one and they can't trade up um, and don't love Jaden and Drake as much, maybe you just take Marvin Harrison Jr. at two or trade down from that pick and trade a second-round pick for Justin Fields. Could that be a possibility? You look at the commander's draft capital here. They've got uh, different avenues to go here. They do have the number two pick. They have a lot of other selections as well, obviously having 36 and 40. Uh, they could go in a multitude of different directions here in their NFL draft. And obviously, uh, Justin Fields is going to be a name that's going to be a talked about a lot next week. And I'll be curious to see if how Cliff Kingsbury views him and if the commanders consider trading for him or not. Now, here is my trade idea if it were to go this route. Justin Fields to Washington for the number 40 pick, which ironically is uh, the Bears' second-round pick that they traded for Montez Sweat, uh, and a fifth-round pick. A lot of people have said a two and a four, but I think with that being a top 40 pick, you could probably just do a five uh, to get Justin Fields. Could be a win-win. Now, again, if you're Washington and you like Daniels or May, probably better off just taking one of those guys. But what if you had Marvin Harrison Jr. to the mix? Him and Terry McLaurin uh, with um, – Jahan Dotson running the slot, Justin Fields slinging it. It's an interesting idea, uh, just something to consider if you are a Commanders fan. Now, what would you rather do at the quarterback position? Would you rather just draft a quarterback number two overall, if you would, type D for draft the QB at two, or would you rather trade a second-round pick for Justin Fields? If you'd rather go that route, type T. Uh, get your votes in down in the comment section, D for draft the QB at two, or T for trade a second-round pick for Justin Fields. Now, some pretty significant NFL news coming in on a Friday, a little Friday news dump for you. The NFL has announced that the 2024 salary cap number is $255.4 million. That is more than a $30 million jump from last year, which is massive. Most teams were operating in the sense thinking it would be between $242-245 million. That's 10 extra million bucks at least, which could be multiple, uh, you know, Rotation players could be a starter with that type of money. And now the commanders who already had the most cap space in the NFL are up to $87 million. So they've got a lot of money to spend uh, in free agency here. We'll talk more about that here in just a second. But I do want to tell you guys first about our sponsor. Speaking of money, you like making it? You, play, you like playing fantasy sports? Well, how about make some money by playing Price Picks? Daily fantasy made easy at pricepicks.com slash CLNS, you got NBA games, you got the NHL, college basketball, MLB spring training games, NFL might be over right now, but you could still make some money on a daily basis with prize picks, which is what I love about the app. It is the largest, most reliable 
uh, Daily Fantasy Sports app in North America. There's daily specials and discounts available. You can get that $100 deposit match with code CLNS when you sign up at pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Tons of sports. You got eSports. You can cross over your picks. doesn't have to be all within one sport or one game. Here's how you play. Two to six player entries. Tons of uh, you know, statistical options available, more or less in points, rebounds, assists, or different baseball ones, etc. cetera. Uh, and then uh, make your entry and submit it. Six-player entry, you can win up to 25 times your money. Two-player entries, which are easier to hit, can still win up to three times your money. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS. Get that extra 100 bucks uh, and uh, have some extra uh, money to play with. Link is in the comments and in the description of this video. Love prize picks. Appreciate them for sponsoring today's show. Uh, I do want to mention the franchise tag numbers, too, because these have been announced as well with the uh, salary cap increase. Uh, the one to take note of here, in my opinion, for the commanders is that safety number, $17.1 million, uh, because Cameron Curl has been considered a player uh, that could get franchise tag. Now, that's a hefty number for a good but maybe not special safety. I like Cameron Curl a lot. The commanders have the money to do the $17 million there. That would still leave them with about $70 million in cap, uh, although you have to allocate probably 10 to 12, 10 to $15 million of that for the NFL draft. But you're still going to have money to spend. But in a better world, you would get Curl locked up for a long-term extension with a lower cap number for next year. So I'll be curious to see how Adam Peters, Dan Quinn, and company uh, handle Cameron Curl if he gets franchise tagged or not. Because this team has a lot of needs. you got to figure out what you're doing at quarterback. you got to replace Montez Sweat and Chase Young, a couple of players you traded at the trade deadline. Offensive tackle, need. Center, need. Uh, need another corner. You need some off-ball linebackers. You could use another receiver, which is why I mentioned the Marvin Harrison Jr. option and trade for Justin Fields. You could add another running back. Uh, the good news is, is you have money to spend. And I expect Adam Peters to spend a lot. Now, is he going to be able to fill every single need in one offseason? No, he's not. But obviously quarterback is going to be addressed, and uh, we'll see where he goes from there. I think that's the first domino. you got to decide if you're drafting a quarterback or if you're going to consider to trade for a guy like Justin Fields. Now, name a free agent that you think the commanders should sign let us know in the comment section down below who you would like to see Washington add in free agency. Before we get to our final little note here, don't miss a thing. Subscribe to the Commander's Report. Sperry's got you guys covered on just about a daily basis. He'll be back next week with uh, uh, the live show that he normally does for you guys. But news, rumors, updates uh, throughout. And by the way, throughout the NFL Combine as well because we will be there. We'll talk more about that in a second. Uh, so be looking for some content out there. YouTube.com slash WFTTV. Remember the Washington football team days? Uh, I, listen, hot take. I know Sperry has different opinions. I like the name Washington football team. Uh, that's what I would go back to, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Subscribe for more content. Speaking of the NFL Combine, uh, they have released some uh, just informational stuff. Adam Peters and Dan Quinn will both speak at the NFL Combine. Uh, if you're interested in those press conference times, Tuesday, 11.30 uh, a.m. Eastern time is when we will hear from the new general manager. We'll hear from the new head coach. 1 o'clock Eastern on Tuesday, and we'll be at the Combine, myself and five other people. Sperry will be here in our studio, so he'll still have content from here, but uh, you'll see some content from Indianapolis as well. We'll try to get those press conferences uh, uh, for you guys as well and put them on the channel, so be on the lookout for that. should be a lot of fun, and that's just some of the things to look for uh, with our Combine content. Player interviews, some clips. We'll probably put out a lot of YouTube shorts, so be on the lookout for that, and Again, Sperry will have full reactions from what's going on at the Combine, how people are testing, rumors. There's going to be a lot of information and uh, stories to discuss considering the Commanders have the number two overall pick. So exciting times uh, to be a Commanders fan. New coach, new GM, number two pick, new quarterback likely coming. So this is the time to get on board. Again, subscribe, but turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any of the fun content coming out uh, next week while we are at the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. My name is Harrison Graham. We love you. Sperry, get well soon. Like the video to show love to Jack Sperry, and uh, he should be back in the next couple of days. So don't miss out on anything here on the Commander's Report.